Hey guys, what's up? This is Miguel, aka Belander. I'm gonna show you all a brief video on my UA deck profile for the 2017 link format, which I've actually tested for a while and actually found it to be really uh, quite consistent and um, actually very very good against a lot of these other decks that these these other decks that do that are competitive in the link format. First of all, three midfielder. I know a lot of people don't run this deck because of the lack of level fours in the deck. There's only there's only midfielder, but I've actually found ways, uh, several different ways of bringing this guy out a lot more easier or getting him into your hand. So that's why I do run three, um, which I'm going to explain how I get him out easily. Two UA Perfect Ace. Basically, your negation during your opponent's turn. Discard a card, negate, and destroy. And I only run two in the deck. But I, I do believe that that's enough. Double UA Mighty Slugger. Uh, I know a lot of people rely on uh, Dreadnought Dunker more, though I run like two or three. But uh, for back row, I usually rely on him to ensure that your opponent doesn't really throw a curveball at you. And trying to stop your attack especially when power jersey is equipped you don't want to get you don't want to get screwed by like a quaking mirror force or uh, murder mirror force in general this will prevent your opponent from being able to do that one ua rival rebounder um works really good with tributing your own monsters uh t in being able to special summon or also being able to use midfielder's effect during your opponent's turn and bring this guy out allowing you to special summon another UA from your graveyard or from your hand. Uh, I've actually found him to be quite useful but I I do believe that you only need one in the deck to make the deck run pretty well. One UA goalkeeper. Uh, I know a lot of people don't run this guy but uh, there are certain decks like Blue Eyes and Cosmos that I actually do find this guy kind of reliable. Uh, sometimes in Situations like that, I'll usually look for this guy. One UA blockbacker. Um, basically, you lose one turn, except this one's permanent, and it works during either player's turn, which is really good. Uh, you can also use midfielder's effect to bring him out just in case he's in your hand. Um, bring him out during your opponent's turn. One, they activate a card effect, special summon, and his effect can act actually activate his effect and change the battle position and. The gate, which works really well with Rival Rebounder. You activate his effect during your opponent's turn. You can also use Midfielder's effect. Bounce this guy back. Bring him out. Activate his effect. Bring him back out. And you'll be able to use his effect again during your opponent's turn. And one UA Dreadnought Dunker. I still run one in the deck. Uh... He's really good for an OTK if your opponent doesn't set any back row um, or if they just set one monster you can basically end the duel with this and power jersey because he's a pierce he does piercing damage one maxi uh, just like any other just if like if you're competing against any other meta deck you want to keep one maxi in the deck uh, for I guess because you all know why uh, opponents uh, try to special summon a lot of monsters uh, just discard and you drop for each special summon monster they summon all right i decided to run the kaiju engine in the deck it actually does work really well um especially during draco zodiacs um they become a big problem i mean i mean Zodi zodiacs aren't that even though they don't have that much consistency in the link format uh they're still giant and uh, all, all these other these other monsters that from the Draco the true Draco and the Zodiac uh, which in th these cases you would need to tribute their monster and also you can special summon one and another thing is you can tribute the kaijus for the UA level 5 and the UA 6 UA monsters and activate off of UA stadium to get a search and I do run three UA Stadium. I don't run terraforming because I do have 
a lot of other ways of bringing stadium, get, adding stadium to my hand. Uh, it's become more consistent. You don't need more than one UA stadium in your hand. That's another reason why you don't run terraforming. But uh, I do one three. Basically, the key card of the deck. Uh, you, you normal summon, you add a UA. You special summon, you all your monsters gain 500 attack, including the ones that aren't UAs, which are the kaijus. Three UA sign deal, basically an easy way of getting midfielder out to your deck, uh, from your deck to the field, and also getting it back to your hand. Two UA power jerseys. I've seen other decks run it with one. I've actually found it really useful with two. Um, this, this is basically your what's going to help you get the OTK, uh, getting this to your hand, um, or getting a search with penalty box and adding this to your hand. Three foolish burial goods. Basically, you want to use these to send penalty box to the graveyard. And so you can get a search whether you want to look for signing deal, uh, stadium, or power jersey. Uh, this is the card that's going to help you get there. The only downfall of this is that you can only use it once per turn. So if you draw two, you're going to have to wait till the next turn to activate the other one. But uh, I've actually tried to use this card a lot and it's actually really effective. And destruction. Two Galaxy Cyclone, two Twin Twister. Yeah, I run Galaxy Cyclone over MST because it you can also use it with Polish Burial Goods. You can send it to the graveyard, except you can't activate it that turn. But there's a bunch of anti-meta players that run a bunch of bullshit like um, like Move Mirror Shield, um, Fossil Dino. You want to try to get over those monsters, and you know Galaxy Cyclone will help you do that. Twin Twister, basically. Discard one, destroy two. Works really well. One upstart goblin for consistency. One monarch storm fourth. Uh, tribute your opponent's monster. You can normal summon mighty slugger, uh, perfect days, rebounder, or goalkeeper. Along with the kaiju engine, you're going to have to run two interrupted kaiju slumbers. Basically, destroy your uh, your opponent's monster, special summon one kaiju on each side of the field. It actually works really well. And basically, Draco's and Zodiacs, like I said before. And also, you can also foolish burial goods it if you need it to your hand. If you need to get a kaiju to your hand to get rid of a, a powerful monster that your opponent controls. Alright, and the trap cards, 3 UA penalty box. This is basically to help you search for a UA spell, whether it's whether it's uh, signing deal, stadium, or jersey, and Bullish Burial Goods will help get to this card a lot more efficiently. This is basically my key card to the deck, because I look for this card more than any other UA card in the deck. Um... I don't use the uh, the battle the battle effect that much the the battle calculation of banishing the opponent's monster. Oh, well, I I guess only when this ends up in my hand and you know there's there's an opponent an opponent controls a monster that you know I need to take out. I'll try to set it and then I'll try to attack and activate this to where it banishes my opponent's monster. One Paleozoic Morella basically to help get penalty box to the graveyard so I can get a search. And one spiritual swords of revealing light. I know a lot of people don't run this card. Um, I you don't see it that much, but I actually found this to be really good. Um, you can use a Paleozoic Morella to send this to the graveyard, or you can use both burial goods. It'll save you a turn. It'll send it to the graveyard, and it'll prevent your opponent from being able to attack you directly. Uh, extra deck. I don't run that many uh, rank fours, or basically because uh, it's only midfielder that I have. That I'm running one blade armor ninja, one diamond crab king, one heroic champion Excalibur, 
one Zephyr Exa Beetle. Well, that's a rank six, but I I do I have used them before, but um, I actually rather not summon them. I I feel a lot more better with this, um, having my level sixes out, which are Goalkeeper and Rival Rebounder. One Black Ship of Corn. One Heartland Draco. This actually does help if I do need to finish my opponent off, and all I have are midfielders. One Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, uh, which you can use uh, two of the Kaiju monsters, or you can use uh, Dunker and uh, Block Backer to bring this guy out. If your opponent has like a thousand or less life points, uh, one Silent Honor Arc, one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, which I am going to explain why I have this guy in my extra deck, one Ragni Zero, one Cowboy, one Castell. One Repulsia. A lot of these guys, you know, I, I just have them in there just, just, just to fill in the 15 cards. You know, some of them I don't really need. One guy, Dra Dragon Champion Charger. And one Volcosaurus, which is the main guy that I... the all, Basically the main one that I usually use in the extra deck. Okay. And for my side deck, Shared Ride. Uh, basically Zodiacs. Try to search. One Vanity Fiend, one Ghost Ogre, Skill Drained, uh, really effective. Uh, I mean, the, their attacks and defenses are high by itself. Skill Drained is actually really good. One Book of Eclipse, one Majesty Fiend for Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, Cyber Dragon, uh, basically Cosmos ABC. Gods and match all the UAs of Earth, so. For Pendulums, Spell Shadow and Arrow, well, Pendulums basically got killed during the Link format, but this actually works against, like, Anti-Meta, basically, I've, I've struggled with Anti-Meta because, you know, I can't, I do need my special summons. Soul Drain, rather wait, all UAs are Warriors. Defissure, Macro, Typhoon. Uh, your opponent controls two. It can be the first turn. This ends up in your hand. Your opponent plays like a what's the diagram. You can, you can actually activate this. And one mischief of the gnomes uh, allows you to. This will allow me to just normal summon um, my slugger or perfect days for my hand. If you know, if just in case I'm not able to special summon any monsters. And that's basically it. Uh, have any other questions or comments, please. Uh, comment below and uh, I will see you all later.